here is the mother of all shaft coupling battles. Uh, the first picture. Uh, a common way of removing your shaft coupling is to place a socket in between the shaft coupling on the shaft uh, and the transmission flange, the reduction gear flange. Put a couple of extra long bolts in there and slowly tighten each bolt like a quarter turn uh, and that should bring the shaft coupling flange towards the reduction gear flange and this shock it would press out the shaft. Well that's how it's supposed to work, everything works well. That's not what happened in my case. So I, I used some, some additional help. I enlisted some liquid wrench. <clears throat> I uh, tapped on the shaft coupling with a hammer. I added more bolts. I broke bolts. I added heat. Now, you want to add heat to the shaft coupling only. If you had the option, you'd put some ice or something on to the shaft, or if it was in the water, uh, the water would cool it, keep the shaft cool, and the shaft coupling uh, would heat up and expand and come off easier. Well, it still didn't come off. So, I gently nudged it with the grinder. This is a four inch uh, angle grinder with a metal cutting bit on there. I'd like to give a shout out to Home Depot. Alright, you can see I cut a, sl a slot right in here. Now, you want to be careful, you can't see it because it's covered with dust. The, the bronze key is right here, so you want to make your cut right above the bronze key. That way, you're, it's, it's, unless you're, you know, Superman, uh, you're going to not make a perfect cut straight. You're not going to stop at the bottom of the shaft coupling all the way. You're going to go through it a little bit. And you'd rather cut the key, get a new key, than cut the shaft. It also is less cutting to do. You'll see at the top I also had to grind down a little bit of the, the lip of the flange there because my cutting wheel wasn't, the diameter wasn't uh, large enough to get all the way through. Uh, so I a added a, I popped a wedge in right over here and tapped with the hammer and sure enough this thing slid right out. Hooray! Uh, I have bought a new shaft coupling and uh, I'll show you about that in the next vid.